For our next navigation pattern, let's explore Drawer Navigation in Explore Router. If you've used apps like Gmail or Spotify, you're already familiar with this pattern. It's that menu that slides in from the side when you tap the hamburger icon or swipe from the edge of the screen. Let's head back to VS Code and learn how we can implement Drawer Navigation in our application. I've created a new project called Drawer Navigation App for this example. Run the command npx create expo app at latest, drawer navigation app, then inside the project folder, run npm run reset hyphen project to start with a bare bones expo project. The app directory contains just index and layout.tsx. Once the project is created, we need to install some extra dependencies that drawer navigation requires. Navigate into the project folder and run the command npx expo install at React Navigation slash Drawer, React Native Gesture Handler, and React Native Reanimated. Unlike Stack and Tab Navigation, Drawer needs these additional packages because it relies on gesture handling and animations for that smooth sliding effect. We are ready to get started. We will begin by creating two additional files in the app directory to go along with our existing index.tsx file. First is dashboard.tsx for the dashboard page and another settings.tsx for the settings page. In each file, we will define a simple component that renders some text. Use the snippet rnfs to scaffold a React Native component. Call this dashboard, add some container styles, apply it to the view component, and the text is dashboard page. Copy the code paste it in settings.tsx and update the component name as well as the text. Our application routes are ready, but if you take a look at underscore layout, you will notice that it is currently using stack navigation. Let's convert this to use drawer navigation instead. Begin by importing the drawer component from explorer slash drawer and invoke it. Next, import a component called gesture handler root view from React Native Gesture Handler. Wrap the drawer component with Gesture Handler root view. On this root view component, we will specify style flex set to one. This code will change our stack navigation into a drawer menu. The Gesture Handler root view is essential for the drawer's swipe gestures to work properly. Save the file, run the app with npx expo start, and you should see a drawer navigation tapping on the hamburger icon on the top left or swiping from the edge of the screen will open the drawer. We see just the index link. So make sure to reload the app. Open the drawer, index, setting, which should have been settings and dashboard. Tapping on dashboard, will navigate to the respective dashboard page and tapping on setting, will take us to the settings page. The drawer navigation is working as expected. Explorator makes it that simple. I'm going to quickly rename it to settings. And now we can go back to our root layout to dive into some of the options you can customize with drawer navigation. Spoiler alert, they are very similar to the options we use for tab navigation. We will start by using the drawer screen component, which gives us more control over individual screens. So drawer, opening and closing tags, and then drawer.screen. We have three screens in total. We assign the file name to the name prop, index, dashboard, and settings. We specify the options using the options prop. By default, the file name is used as the title and the drawer label. The icon is also not present to begin with. We can customize that using the title option, which we will set to home title, dashboard title, and settings title. Next, we will set drawer label, which is the text shown in the drawer menu. Home label, dashboard label, and settings label. I'm simply adding a suffix to make it easier for you to understand how the option affects the UI. Finally, we have drawer icon, and this is similar to specifying an icon for tab navigation. It's a function, font awesome, 
which we import at the top from Expo Vector Icons. We get access to props and we destructure color. Name is going to be home, size is equal to 24, and color is equal to the color prop. Similarly, for dashboard, the icon is going to be dashboard. And for settings, the icon is going to be cog. Save the file. Reload the app by pressing R in the terminal. And now when you open the drawer, you should see the icons with the appropriate color for active and inactive states, home label, dashboard label, and settings label. And when you click on dashboard label, for example, at the top, you see dashboard title. Very straightforward. Now let's move on to the screen options that can be applied to the entire drawer navigation. So screen options, and this is an object. Since these options are very similar to the options we use for tab navigation, I will paste the code here and then break down the options. We have the header background color and header tint color, which affect the header styles. We also have the drawer background color and drawer active and inactive tint colors, which affect the drawer menu. Save the file and reload the app. You should see the updated styles. I have used white to keep it clean, but feel free to use your own colors. As you can see, implementing drawer navigation with Expo Router is surprisingly simple. If you want to further customize the drawer, please refer to the React Navigation docs for more options.